So when you think about sinking cities, you might think of old cities, flooding streets, canals of Venice, Italy, certainly not the streets of Chicago. But because of climate change, researchers say there is a new risk lurking below our city. NBC's Mara Barrett shows us the living labs now tracking how heat could make the city sink. We are measuring temperature in underground environments to basically monitor the amounts of heat that are continuously rejected in the ground. Hundreds of these sensors are giving us a new look into what researchers are calling a silent hazard. We found out that uh, Chicago, as many other uh, major global cities, is affected by a phenomenon that is called uh, underground climate change. Professor Alessandro Rotoloria and his Northwestern research team installed these sensors beneath the surface in parking garages, subway tunnels, and basement boiler rooms, which found temperature variations are causing significant stress in the infrastructure that supports the city's skyline. For Chicago, the worst has already happened in the sense that there is already a significant amount of heat uh, beneath our feet, and this heat has caused the ground to deform already. Their study highlights that this element of climate change is different than what we see above ground and poses a risk for the foundation of urban cities globally. Researchers say more heat trapped in the ground has serious potential to interrupt our day-to-day. -to -day. Top concerns are public health, the safety of the buildings we work in and visit, and how it could slow down your daily commute. Which is why Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says projects to mitigate this new climate challenge need to be happening now. Is there a sense of how best to source energy-efficient materials to then mitigate this issue? Some of it is federally funded. We're partnering with states on this because it may be that uh, something down to the kind of cement or steel or asphalt that you're using for the 21st century needs to look a little different than what we learned to build with 100 years ago. The thing is, the data in those forecasting models can change if cities take action soon. It'll take an investment, but the underground heat found here can be repurposed as a thermal energy source for the buildings above. There is a technology that are the spaces to do that. The key thing is the willingness. Because this problem is bigger than just Chicago. It's the direct consequence of human presence on Earth. Maura Barrett, NBC News, Chicago.